Hey guys, it's Christina Halfacre with Remax Paradise, and I'm here to look at number 32 over here at Romar Village. If you would take a note at how close it is to the pool over here. The one unit that we were looking at is that far one in the corner, so it is still on the same side, and it does back up to the end, or to the kind of like the green space. I've got the garage door open so you can see inside. That had a pegboard with lots of extra storage. They've got additional flooring back there. They did not have a garage door opener that I could find inside the house. Looks like it's just wired to here, but I'm sure that could be an easy change. Go ahead and close that. Go ahead and take a look inside. As you can tell, they've got two per unit, and so we would be on the right side. This unit is not as nice as the other one. The flooring here is a little noisy, and it's not the same that's in the master bedroom. Layout is exactly the same. We've got a little coat closet right here when we first walk in. The stairs are the raw wood that's been um, finished and lacquered over. The kitchen though is a little bit nicer here. Got some nicer cabinets. Although not all of the appliances are the same. Although they do look new, we've got Frigidaire, Black Stove, Gold Star Microwave, Whirlpool Stainless Refrigerator, and a Samsung dishwasher. So it is nice how they added the extra cabinets over here. They're very tall, lots of storage. Very is nice. Of course, it looks out into the dining space, but they've got a rather low light hung. Of course, that could be adjusted as well. And they also hung their curtains very, very high, which I normally like but there is no furniture out here in the living space. Go ahead and walk out to the backyard. We have these sun shades that they've already pulled down for some extra privacy. Of course, that room leads into the bedroom. It's just nice and quiet. There's a little lake over there, a little pond. And then just a real pretty green space. Back here. That door needs a little work. And we've got the washer and dryer here in the little closet hallway. And we've got bathroom number one. They went ahead and redid the vanities in the granite when they redid it. Really nice tiled shower. It looks like a new bathtub and new fixtures. That's very nice. And the door that goes into the primary bedroom, the dual closet. Same floor plan as what we've seen before. Very large bedroom down here. You can fit a king size bed. It's nice that they've added crown molding in here. The flooring looks the same in here, but it's not. Smaller planks. And of course, can come out here from this bedroom. Just another shot. Windows down here look good, but there are some upstairs that are needing to be replaced. A little uneven right there. Then we've got carpet up here, and there are not any, there's not any furniture, so you have to add some beds and bedroom suits. Gives you kind of an idea of what the room looks like without anything in it. Large closets, all the way back. That window looks a little fuzzy, but fuzzy, but I think it's just dirt. 
These look fine, but the ones in this other bedroom definitely need to be replaced. Another closet. It appears as if they've redone the cabinets, but maybe just new faces and new knobs. Double sinks. The original bathtub. Bathtub fixtures, everything looks to be in good shape. And then bedroom number three with those super foggy windows. <laughs> and this one appears to be just a hair larger than the other bedroom. Could be the same, I'll have to look at the measurements, but it feels like it's just a little bit bigger. Same size closet, nice and big. The paint's in okay shape, but all of the trim is like an off-white instead of a bright white. And this carpet definitely has seen better days that would need to be replaced. Here's a look from up high. Overall, it's not a bad condo, but the other one is nicer. So that's just my two cents. Let me know what y'all think.